Quasimodo's coming. So this is Core Abbey on the Isle of Wight, a monastery. And the reason I've come here is it's just fantastic architecture all around this place. It's so old as well, dating back to the 1800s or early 1900s. I haven't read the information, but the walls look uh, so interesting to take photographs of. So um, that's what I'm going to do around here. But I can't be shouting and talking loud into the camera because uh, all the monks like to be quiet, you know. Let's have a look around. So I've brought out with me the Leica MP and inside this I've got a roll of Oro uh, 100 speed film. I'm only shooting it at 100, going to develop it very basic, simple and get some nice photographs of walls. But there's also some beautiful old gates as well. Now I'm not a historian, you know, I come to these places and take photographs uh, and generally look up online and see a bit of history. So what I'll do guys for you is put a little bit of history in writing on on the video so you guys can if you're interested you can pause the video and have a little read up i'm only going to copy and paste it off of a website but i'm at a place called court abbey on the isle of wight it's a monastery let's go and get some pictures It's like the other day when I said in one of my videos, if you give yourself you know, some kind of plan, some kind of idea what you want to take pictures of and go out and get those pictures in the camera, that's all I'm doing today. And that's my idea today's walls. So I can spend a couple of hours around here just staring at walls. <laughs> and I know it sounds boring to some people, but the more you look at stuff, the more you notice, do you know what I mean? Like compositions and angles. And I think sometimes that sort of work can improve your photography as well, especially composition and lighting as well. And it's a nice overcast, uh, light overcast day. So I've got a 100 speed film in here. I've set the shutter speed to 60th of a second, which is uh, well manageable in your hands with this sort of camera. And uh, most of my apertures are around about sort of f4 to about f2.8. So I should get some nice uh, looking images. Just looking at this old wrought iron gate here. I'm going to get a photograph of that nice and close. Uh, let us know in the comments, guys, if there's anything around that uh, I've missed, you know, anything that you think, oh, I'll get a picture of that, get a picture of this. Let us know in the comments uh, and the timestamp it as well so I can see, um, you know, your creative decisions. So I've just walked about 10 minutes away from, well not even that, five minutes away from the monastery and this is the old monastery here. Uh, it's got some works going on at the moment, some gas works, but over the back there in the background, I don't think I can go over there, but that's the um, parts of the old monastery, all the old walls and stuff. Uh, I don't know whether it got knocked down or what, I really don't know the history, but over there somewhere, I've been over there before, but um, loads of old walls. Let's see if I can get over there, I wanna try and go over there. Not hurting anyone, am I? This old place here, though, look, this has got a nice shot. I'm going to get a nice shot of this. So I'm in the grounds, but I'm really split with difference climbing over that fence. So 
like this is some sort of fireplace at one point. I don't know what to take a picture of. I'm stumped. That looks quite nice. Okay. Okay, I found something. No, I haven't. Well, that's the ruins done. Let's get back to the uh, monastery. There's some more walls over there. Yes, when I'm taking my pictures of these walls, I've got um, you know compositions in mind. I don't want to just take a picture of a brick wall unless uh, unless I want it to, uh, as a background for some reason. Uh, layer it over at some point in Photoshop, but I'm not interested in that. So I'm kind of looking for you know squares and things coming off like window frames leading onto a wall and etc. So. That's always in my mindset when I'm taking me pictures. That's it, I've run out of walls. Put my cap back to front like bloody 50 cent or something. That's it, I've run out of walls to take pictures of. Although there was plenty of walls, I kind of run out of composition ideas really. Without, you know, when I'm taking a photograph, I just like to make sure that I'm taking a photograph of something that possibly would make a nice print. So just snapping away at a wall, when I look through the viewfinder, I'm thinking to myself, nah, that doesn't do nothing for me, you know, it doesn't float my boat. So, um, Blimey, I've taken 20 shots, that's enough. Medium format, I would have been done and gone by now. Court Abbey was an interesting place to walk around looking for pictures and taking my time. This is why I love shooting on film. Just take my time, look for lighting and compositions without knowing really how it's gonna look until I get back in the dark room and under the glow of the red light, you slowly start to see your image coming through for the very first time. This process always amazes me. Sometimes good, sometimes not so good, but it's always fun. Shit. 
So I got back and I developed that Orwo UM54 in Rodnoll at one part to 25 for six minutes and the negatives come out looking really nice. I just couldn't wait to get in the dark room and start making some prints. I did take the video camera in the dark room but I was in there for about four hours last night uh, making these prints and doing some tests and I decided to put some of the darkroom stuff up overlaying the video because I could concentrate more basically <laughs> on me only there for four hours making these prints without talking to you guys so I decided to just uh, video some of the stuff I was doing in the darkroom to show you but I've got some prints here to show you right now before I show you those prints um, check out these little tiny lights from I think they're called Lieber or, or Pixel, a company called Pixel. I'll put a link in the description where you can get these. These are little tiny video pocket lights. And this company came to me and they said, um, if we send you a couple, could you try them out and let us know what you think? I said, yeah, of course. I mean, being a photographer and also a filmmaker, this the little things are really handy. I've got lights and they're quite big and I've got also bigger LEDs. But I've been playing around with these little tiny video lights. And the reason I'm showing you guys is because they're RGB lights. And obviously RGB, they've got all the different colours, including red. And as soon as I saw them, I thought to myself, blimey, these would be really handy for someone that's got a dark room in a bathroom like I used to have. And I used to have to take the red light in with the power um, and, and plug it in. This is years ago. And I've took them into my own dark room and had a little dabble with them and they're, they're safe on the paper once you get your settings right the brightness right and do your tests they're safe on the paper and i thought they'd be brilliant something like this would be fantastic for anyone that's got a home dark room in their bathroom so they can just uh, the back's magnetic as well so you can stick it to the radiator in the bathroom or, or any metal that you've got they give out a lot of light in the dark room so um i've also done a little tiny bit of photography with these things and i'm looking forward to using them all in the future especially for certain parts of photography if you're an ebay list or something like that it's ideal nice small compact you can see the size and they've got this little rubber silicon little diffuser that you take off you can see the size of them absolutely tiny but uh yeah they're fantastic i'll put a link in the description i'm not affiliated to it anyway i'm not earning any money out of any of the sales but i'll put a link in the description they're only cheap probably about i don't know 40 50 dollars each and i used these the other night i had a little tiny session i was taking photographs of some of my cameras um, inspired by an Instagram called Crimson Obscure that had started using little tiny lights like this to take pictures of his cameras. Yeah, I'll leave that one down to you. Let's get on with the prints. So that was the first print that I made in the dark room. That was the um, archway there. I'm trying to show you. This is Ilford Multigrade Deluxe Gloss Paper. Um, thanks a lot to the guys that support me. On. I've got some bits for the dark room this month. So this is Ilford Deluxe Multigrade Paper, resin paper. Uh, this, this actual print here, I had to do some, I'm trying to show you about all the glare. I had to do some um, dodging on this side. So I used a two and a half grade filter on this um, and it would look really nice. All these blacks were coming out really nice, but I just had to do a little tiny bit of dodging in the archway to try and bring detail back out in that. About five seconds um, of just dodging on this side. And that print's come out really nice. You can see that one there. These prints are going to be going on my Etsy page, guys. If you want to support the channel and take one of these prints, um, I've made two of each, one for me and one for my Etsy page uh, for anyone that wants to buy one of my prints. The second print that I made was the doorway. I particularly like this this doorway with the stairs. And like I say, you know, walking around these buildings, just looking for compositions and lines and stuff. Um, I quite like this one with the stairs, the railing, the door and the little window next to it. I did have to do a little tiny bit of burning in on the here with the uh, glass panes and a little bit of dodging on the door just to try and um, pop that out a little bit. But that one's come out nice as well. And they're full frame as well, 35 mil. You can see the actual rebate from the uh, negative carrier. And one that I really did like was the low down shot that I did of the door and the stairs. I just like the composition, the way the stairs are. Uh, you've got this little shadow underneath the stairs I'd noticed and the door had a slight sheen on it and also the brickwork leading into it. I think I'd shot this around about F4. Um, but I had to do some dodging on this door. This door is a little bit dark. So I had to start doing some dodging on the door and try and get that one right. It took me quite a while. And then I ended up coming out with this one here. You can see now I've got detail on the door with that little tiny bit of light sheen going on. Uh, I use a contrast five filter on this and also a bit of split grain. I use contrast zero and contrast five. And I use the contrast five just to get some darker shadows underneath the stairs. And I think it makes the whole print pop really nice. So uh, they're 10 by eight size image on a 12 and a uh, 12 nine and a half paper and I did another one there 
you can see. Uh, that one there with with the window, the old the old stone stone works there. Uh, all the little Chinese shrubbery going up, all the wildlife growing up, the uh, all that nature growing up on the brickwork there. So I kind of like that one. A little tiny bit of um, dodging and burning around certain parts because some of those bricks or stones were quite light. Um, I had to do a little tiny bit of jiggery pokery on them, but that's come out really nice as well. And the idea of walls, well, I don't know where that come from. It's just um, an idea that I had. If you said to if someone said to you, what do you do, mate? You're a photographer. What do you photograph? Walls. They'd be like, what? <laughs> but I think you can take, you can go to different places, you know, and um, historic places like I went to on that, on that monastery. And the longer you're there, the more you stare at all this architecture. It's just amazing and beautiful how they made stuff back in them days. And the more you stare at it, the more you can find compositions. And that's all I was doing in that video. So... I did think to myself, do you know what, I wouldn't mind making this a project, uh, going around places on the Isle of Wight, where I live, or even um, back on the mainland as well, and find places of interest and take uh, photographs of walls. I don't know, maybe even come out with a, with a photo book or a zine or something of my excursions and venture into this kind of photography. But I also think that it gives you a reason to go out and shoot. You know, this could be for me, you know, episode one or whatever. Um, okay, great. This is now going to lead on to an episode two, maybe an episode three of going to different places and trying to find different architectures and taking photographs or interesting compositions of, of, of the walls uh, that are old and interesting. So, you know, it's just another idea uh, in photography to, to uh, you know, get the photo monkey off your back, as they say, and get out shooting and give yourself some ideas and some uh, inspiration to take photographs. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget I'm going to be putting uh, these prints. I've made one for myself and also another one for my Etsy page. So if anyone wants to support the channel and buy a print off me, I'll put the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope it's given anyone inspiration out there that's uh, taking photographs and not quite sure what to do or where to go. I'll catch you next time. Nearly got stuck. Yeah. <laughs>